I see you have no shoes. You know what these are called? If someone can tell me the name of this shoe, they get it for free. If you can name me this shoe, you get it for free. Can you name it? Someone came in front of our business, placed some sort of like contraption. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. We're back, baby. It's Monday. We got a behind the hype episode today for you guys. If you want to know what you're gonna win this week, wait till the end of the video. But don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Yo, Veda, what did he do? Some guy who definitely looked a little disheveled looked through the window because we were all staring at him. Threw something under the bin, threw the bin down, looked up, put up like one second, and then ran away. Just a normal day at hype, and then this happens. We have some random guy pull up, and he drops a wire bomb looking kind of thing. He kind of ran away after dropping it, so I was really suspicious. I looked underneath, like from afar. There's a bunch of wires under there, and then there's one wire sticking out. Here, look from here. You can zoom in and see like the wires and stuff. Maybe I'm overreacting, but it's been here for about 10 minutes and he's obviously not coming to pick it back up, so maybe just call the cops, I guess. I don't know, it just doesn't look like it's safe. Three, Miami police, it's just, it's weird, weird, weird. Operator what is the address of the emergency? 3208 Grand Avenue. What's the name of the business? Hype, H-Y-P. What's your name? Marcus. Okay, tell me exactly what happened. About 10 minutes ago, someone came in front of our business, placed some sort of like contraption right outside our store. It had a bunch of wires on it. He left for a second and then came back a second later and put like a crate over it. It just looks really suspicious one wire coming out of it i don't usually like to get the cops involved but i figured it was better safe than sorry this could have been a dangerous situation so i tried to get it diffused and where exactly is it right next to the road on the sidewalk okay so an officer has already been to dispatch that location sir what color clothing are you wearing a uh, black shirt with orange letters and gray shorts right. thank you like if anything changes you have any further information of the person returns okay this video that yuri sent can you see what he put in the box what? yeah it's, it's yeah. Did you guys see who left that? Yeah. It was a homeless guy. What was it? Did you see what he was holding? I'll show you a video. We have a video. Yeah, some sort of computer. Like, like a data board. Yeah, okay. And then he threw a shirt. My man, I'm making contact with the business owner reviewing the video footage. Like a main mainframe from a computer. I'm going to check it out now. Give me a second. Did, un, from under yeah, the sun? Oh, oh, sh oh, sh oh, sh oh, sh Damn, he said f it. He said, I'll blow up, I'll blow up. Can you send me that footage? Yeah, yeah. Text it. Yeah, that's one. Thank Sounds you. good. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Thank uh, you. Yeah, so the cop came, literally just picked up the, the whatever that was under there, and I guess it didn't end up being anything. We care about our customers and employees and the people around us, especially since this is one of a really busy road and a high foot traffic area. We'd rather be safe than sorry. Bro, the officer just went straight onto the thing and he just opened it like started like sparking and shit. It was fucking ridiculous. Yes, bro, everywhere. How was it? He called in like three backup units. I don't know. I just got the fuck out of there. I was like, Did you leave? No, no, there's like four officers over there right now. They're trying to figure out the fuck it is. Bro, what? <laughs> I'm just fing with you. <laughs> It was like a piece of scrap metal, like with a bunch of wires on it. He just it's like the CPU of a computer. Yeah, he picked it up and he just like threw it in the box. It was like it was that guy's behavior, bro. We own the store. We don't want to risk that type of stuff. Of course, Marcus called the cop, but in reality, I'm glad he did. We live in a crazy world nowadays, and you never know with these types of situations. So we got a little market update today. Let's see what the market's going on. What we're selling. What releases are new. We just had the Pine Green Four SBs. Here, how those go? Not gonna lie, we did not do well at all. They were very, very limited. Nike had barely any stock. Yeah, they're going for a lot right now. They're almost like 500 and bigger sizes. Like almost four and smaller, but damn, solid release. I think people like these a lot. What else we got going on? The Imagine threes. We didn't get too many. We got some for the storm. Sold a few pairs already. They're on the 300 mark. I think they released it as well as I expected it to. They, they released a lot of pairs, so it makes sense the market value it's sitting at around right now. Super clean shoe. Honestly, though, the quality control is ass like they did terrible. a terrible job quality control on all nike shoes in the last year or two has just been awful mischief big red boots you guys seen them all over tiktok all over instagram all these celebrities wearing them i think they're ugly as shit. i think it's a really funny shoe though as mischief does with all their shoes for retail 350 which is ridiculous for a retail price and guess what they were selling for almost 1500 up to two thousand dollars right after the release mischief made the big red boots to order actually so they took six to eight weeks to ship they said so the prices were super high at first but we got a few pairs at the warehouse i'm excited to see what they look like when they come into the store what else we got going on supreme Supreme's new. They're dropping the inside out box logos. Are we going hard on those, Yuri, or no? I think so. I mean, it's a box logo. No matter how ugly it looks, I think it's still going to have some type of lunch money, as we call it, especially in bulk. Yeah, they're not bad looking. I kind of like the look. Tiffany's have been going crazy. Easily over $1,000. In my opinion, I wouldn't rock them for the price. They're a cool shoe, but not for the price. $1,000 for a black Air Force One. To me, seems kind of crazy. Yuri? Not for that price point. If it was maybe half the cost just because it's Tiffany, then yeah. I love that Tiffany colorway, but man, $1,000. I don't know. We just sourced two pairs for VIP clients. They're on the way to the store. We're going to check them out. Too they look like I haven't seen them in hand yet. Hellstar. Hellstar has been 
fucking flying crazy, off the shelves. Crazy. We started with the brand in like November, December. Our supplier was like, trust me, just buy this shirt. Like it'll sell. I was like, this is ugly. I don't know why anyone would want this. Put it in our store, immediately start selling at the $200 price range, which keep in mind, it's a pretty high price range for a t-shirt, but flying off the shelves now so even more. I mean, people are just buying it every single day. We sell probably five at least a day in store or online. It's really hard to source, actually, believe it or not. On the secondary market, that's why a lot of people are uh, buying it from our website because you can't even find it anywhere. It sells out when it releases and the secondary market still isn't even that crazy. Touch on essentials. Essentials is always flying. I mean, that's a always. classic. We just got a restock on light oatmeal hoodies, stretch limo hoodies, off black hoodie, a few t-shirts here and there. Pretty much it for clothing wise. Nike had a price error. Was it a price error or what was it? It was like a glitch or what? They applied 40% off to clearance item, but essentially it somehow applied to all of their products online. We took advantage of that. We have hundreds of product at a warehouse at 40% off right now. Yeah, the biggest lick was easily the Air Forces. I mean, yeah. what did we pay for them? Like $66? $67, yeah. I wish that was sustainable. We only we got like 150 pairs, which is great, but I mean- oh, We got more than that, it's still on the way. Oh, it's still on the way, yeah. okay. So we, I think we hit like probably a couple hundred. You might think it's good, but it's a low ticket item. Air Forces are not that crazy and we're never gonna see them for 66 bucks again, I guarantee you that. Just sold uh, our first batch of 150 pairs. Those are gonna be shipping out today. We have some other releases. Let's see, what do we got coming up that we should talk about? Anything interesting? I don't see anything crazy. I mean, we do have SB Dunk dropping on the 25th, the Fly Streetwear. What do you think of that? Not a fan. Mm -hmm. Me neither. But other than that, I don't think there's anything crazy dropping in the near future. I think cool. May's gonna pick up a lot. Yeah, the start of the year, Nike and all other brands are usually pretty slow with it. There's a bunch of restocks always. Any restocks or anything like that? UNC fives actually suck. We weren't gonna go for them originally, but one of our clients hit us up. He's like, yo, I need a hundred pairs from my store. And I was like, all right, bet we'll just do that. We're not gonna stock any. And our hunch was right because as soon as all the online pairs came in like a week after the release, they plummeted. I'm pretty sure they're like sitting under retail at this point. We don't even have any for the store. They're a clean shoe. I'm surprised. I mean, retros just don't hit the same as they used to do. Fives are a nice shoe. UNC five, beautiful shoe my opinion if you're a retro guy crazy they're on the retail but that's just the state of the market right now dunk sell yeezy sell and weird shit like the boot sells who buys that stuff honestly the boot yeah hear me out like i low-key would buy one for the memes if they weren't 700 dollars. if we didn't have a youtube channel would you buy the yeah boot? you would if they were like 200 bucks i think it's a funny shoe i don't have many shoes and just to have those in my closet it's fucking hilarious you don't rock them out like once or twice maybe not like often Come on, Marcus, really, dude? I refuse to believe people actually wear these. If I had like some crazy t-shirt, like a hoodie, like with the it's red and the red boots, sheesh. let me step him. I don't know. All right, that's all for our market update, guys. If you want some fire ass and wings and coconut grove, go to Barracudas. Again, sponsor us or I won't put that in the video. But basically, yeah, we're gonna be doing this weekly, maybe. Quick rapid fire market updates about what's going on in the shoe game, what's going on in the resale game, wholesale game, all that good stuff. If you like these, just let us know. We'll do more. Blue cheese and ranch. Blue cheese, bro. Come on now. No, no. Ranch, I, I have two cups. Blue cheese and my off whites. You know who said that? Two chains. <laughs> Hello, is this a HYP? Yeah, how can I help you? By any chance, do you guys have like collectible figurines and stuff like that? We have a Kith Bear Brick available. Just one? Just one, it's a thousand percent, it's a big one. This is what Marcus was talking about. And due to popular demand, we ordered a bunch of cost figures and Bear Brick. Available in store and online at HypeMiami.com. Are you looking for anything specific? Cause we can also source you something. I mean, I'm interested in like cost toys, gone decks, anything like artistic. We actually have one of those a thousand percent, like I was telling you, it's 1500. It's like a felt material. If you were looking for something else specifically, we get offers for that kind of stuff all the time. I can see if I can get some, you something else. If you're interested in that, that's what we have in the store. All right, now, nah, yeah, I was trying to see if I can check something out right now and pick it up. Yeah, that kit is too big and the felt with the humidity out here, that'll it'll kind of get destroyed. It won't last long. Okay, no worries. All right. All right, man, thank you. Take We're care. going to Play Club right now, but I got a, my car loaded up. We're going to do a ticket. This is really important for really any business. If you have dead inventory that's not selling. It's always better just to dump it, even if it's for a loss sometimes. It's way better to have that cash flow to put it into inventory that's actually producing you income. You just put in each shoe, press submit, get a QR code, show it to them, and then we drop it off. So we just finished the drop off. Only about 25 pairs, but there were some high ticket items in there. So if I had to guess, we probably freed up maybe five to $10,000 in just dead inventory, which is always a good thing. I try to wait till we have like a decent amount that it's worth it to come out here. We're actually pulling into Veblen right now. One of my favorites in the design district. Veblen is a super cool store. I look at it kind of as like a designer thrift shop. You can go in there, check out some used designer clothing for great prices, toss your clothes in for some store credit and they'll hook you up. What's up dog? Yeah, How you been? I brought some for you too. So I don't know if you want to check it out. I have a bag too. Yeah, that one's it's fire. Different. It's it. Yeah, it'll sell. How's the store? The store's good, bro. Thank you. Just been filming everything. Just doing a video every week. Like, uh, hopefully soon. Yeah. What's the channel, bro? Hi, Miami. We're doing like a reality style type video. So like we show everything, like buying, shit, selling, shit, wholesale deals, like everything. That's the stuff, bro. Yeah, people like that, you know? You tagging everything now? Yeah, bro. Thank God, bro. You got your own thing going, but I was like, damn, bro. No, I don't. I can't imagine not having an inventory system or anything. Make like, 800 for these four. Okay. 
800 for these four. This one like 150. Okay. So it'll give us a guy like good enough to sell for like 250. Pay like 150. The Louis, it's an older one, so it's free Virgil. It has like the brown tag. Yeah, yeah. So I would say like 120 star credit, like 100 cash, pretty plain. Just like put it up for 150. Yeah. You wanna keep this one? It's like small on me, I'm not gonna lie. Well, I think I have 300. 300? Yeah. I think I bought it like. Probably, probably 4 for 50. Yeah, you can leave it, that's fine. Okay. Are these this cash offers? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cash or store credit for you, bro, if like, you know. I bet. If you need an extra 20 on a piece, I got you. Cool. Take 100. Okay. Shorts, they're pretty key. Yeah, I bought them here too, so. I feel like 120 because they do have like a hole right here. Yeah, it's a fat hole. That's fine, I don't, I'm not gonna wear them, okay. so. Cool. Essentials, the time. I gotta sift through this, there's always so much here. It's packed. They got tags on there with prices now though. That makes it a lot easier. I don't know, anything, I just got a bunch of store credit, so looking to spend it back here. Honestly, I need some shorts. These are cool, you guys had these last time, but they weren't my size, the size of these. Short ass shorts, god damn. Prada shorts for 50 bucks? See, I just like the simple rude a little small, maybe. Yeah, maybe too small. All right, I'm gonna try these on. These are good. I'll put them right here. Yeah, what is this? Mason Mihara. Oh, I've heard of this. 100% private. This is cool. Let's try this on. Copper drop. <laughs> Dude. That's crazy, bro. I want some Chanel trainers. Do you have any of my size? What size is 10? 10. Bro, that's like what my dad wore in the 90s, bro. Like, <laughs> can't be wearing this. We have horse leather remote. Horse leather? <laughs> so these are the calf leathers, like the, the current ones. Okay. This edition that they made in 2017 is horse leather. Yo. Like I'm not a Rick Warrior yet, but I could be. Rick Burkett sucks. <laughs> Rick Burks? Yeah, they're from 2017. It's not my style. Chicago Bull Dior. What's the price on these? These are like a 10, I think. I fit, they fit. I was just wondering what the price is. Cuba, how much? 68. Make it easy, appreciate you. I just walked out of there, easy as always with Veblen. I think spent like 2,000, but I traded a bunch of shit in, so I ended up actually getting some cash on top. Makes it really easy, I come here, I don't know, once a month, whenever I wanna switch out some that I haven't worn, or it's too small on me, or whatever it might be, and then I trade it in, get some new shit, look fly. If you're ever looking for some steals for designer clothing, definitely check out Veblen, highly recommend. Hugo will hook you up. Time to pick this week's winner of the giveaway. Let's roll it. Saucy with the kicks. Ooh, he didn't comment his IG or his size. J and J sneakers. Let's see if he's following us. He does not follow us. Oh. We have to pick another one. Guys, make sure you guys follow all the instructions. All right, the winner is calling us now. We're gonna see what's up. Hey James, how are you? It's Jerry from Hype. You know why we're calling you? <laughs> you won. Congrats, bro. No. How do you feel? So Appreciate that. Send us your address and we'll get this over to you ASAP. Say what's up to YouTube. Hi. <laughs> All right, James, congrats once again. Send us uh, the address. Reconfirm the size and uh, we'll get it shipped out to you next week. Thanks for supporting us. We were at the Kith Grand opening. You guys saw the video, but we're here now. We're going to check out the actual inside of the store, show you guys, hopefully, if they let us film, maybe we'll come out with some stuff. Excuse me? Can I see those? No, no we only have tens. Just tens? I guess we'll just do the ten then. That's fine. We're in Design District today. We got the Salehi Benbury Crocs. If someone can tell me the name of this shoe, they get it for free. Pretty simple, let's do it. We got this shoe right here. If you can tell me what this shoe is called. Oh, I should probably hide it. <laughs> yeah, you already saw the fucking name. <laughs> I see you have no shoes. No, no no good English. You know what these are called? You looked inside. <laughs> if you can name me this shoe, you get it for free. Can you name it? It's a collaboration. The Salehi Benbury. Yes, sir, there you go, you got it. Just one, no. You got the box for you right here, don't worry. Oh, don't even trip. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hi right, Miami, I Num made up bad. Number so, one. That was my lucky day. It's all you, dog. <laughs> I like the sicko shirt. Appreciate you, bro. We have a, we have a sneaker store down in uh, Coconut Grove. No way. Yeah, yeah. For real? Check it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll follow it up. Those are fire. You just got those. Bet that up. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's my little after work shoes. You know what I'm saying? It's all right, all right, all right, all right. Beam me up. Beam me up. <laughs> this is too funny, right? <laughs> this is my old job. When I'm famous, you know what I'm saying? It's the, it's the blog. That's where it all originated. Yo, what size are you? Ten. No. Way. They're size 10, bro. It was meant for me. It was meant. And I don't even got none of them, but I like them. I'm yeah. not sure if I'm saying his name right, but yo, you're doing some good stuff. This <laughs> stuff is fire. Hell and my yeah. boy work at Crocs, too. Holla at him. Down south. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Appreciate yo, you. What's, your, what's your name? Bro. John. Send me. I'm going to text you, man. Oh, yeah. I'm really happy we did that. We gave away a free pair of Salehi Crocs. I think we might be getting them at the store. I actually did order some, so we should be getting some soon. Every single week, Hype Miami gives away a pair of shoes to one of you viewers. This week, we're giving you the Yeezy Slide in the pure color. Right? If you want to be this week's winner, make sure that you follow us on Instagram. Subscribe to our channel and comment your shoe size along with your Instagram handle in the comments below A few of you guys actually won the giveaway, but didn't follow the rules. So make sure you do so. We'll see you guys in the next episode